I know you're a big user of virtual sound check. Um, talk about how you incorporate that into your, uh, your workflow. Uh, when I started to use it, um, I was just doing it to kind of capture shows and I would use it to mess with some of the plugins in the consoles, maybe to try a compressor, maybe listen to some reverbs, you know. Uh, then I started to use it uh, just to kind of see what the room was doing and uh, to just kind of see what the low end was like, you know, indoors, and outdoors, and just kind of get a feel for it because it captures it and reproduces it incredibly well. So that which really blew me away. Um, so that was, it's, it's been very helpful for that. Uh, and to just kind of see, because the band doesn't sound check or rehearse. So- uh, oh, That's right, they never sound check, right? Nope, nope. So you just kind of, you got what you got. The first thing I hear from the band is that first downbeat of the first song. So uh, nerve wracking maybe, but just what you're used to, you know. But uh, being here in Rock Lidditz, I've been fortunate enough to have my, uh, my scene here. And uh, it's been invaluable to have the tracks to, to listen to. And, you know, because we've been off for a year and a half and gearing up to go again. So I've been here kind of refreshing the muscle memory and, you know, just kind of getting ready to go. And it's been really, really, really uh, fortunate to, to have that opportunity. Yeah, I know I've talked to so many engineers who, after a year and a half, they're stepping back into it and they're like, am I going to remember what to do? Or am I going to remember how, you know, how, how to listen or how to balance or anything? Yes. And, uh, and having a, uh, some time with the multi-track and actually hearing the band is a really helpful thing. Uh, it is, it's really thing. good. We have uh, some rehearsals coming up, which so I'll go into that ready to go, as opposed to being in that nervous state of, you know, am I going to remember? I've already gone through that. Right, and you went through <laughs> it alone, not with a, an <laughs> exactly. artist on stage or a band on stage or something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, that's great. And um, is there any kind of archival you're using? I mean, do you, do you keep all the shows or you just? I record the two track every day and that's for my own. And I, uh, unless, you know, uh, like Davey, the guitar player, he had asked for a copy, two copies of the show. So I keep them and give them to the band if need be, just off the two track. Uh, but the, the multi-tracks, they don't really, they don't go anywhere. They're just for me for, you know, reference and things as such. And do you have audience mics you set up uh, when you record I, those? No, well? I don't because it's not going anywhere. Right. You know, not, you're not trying to recreate a concert. No. It's just so you can go into the next venue and, Correct. and see how it translates. Yeah. Um, so what are the things you notice? I mean, besides the ambience, I'm sure the low end is a huge thing that varies from arena to arena and stadium to stadium. Or what are the other things that you notice that the virtual sound check really helps you with? Um, just how it translates in, in, in the, the, the big arenas, you know, where you're at on the floor, it's going to be different, you know, way up above you. So to be able to have the opportunity to, to hit play and go up there and walk around the whole bowl, because, you know, like I said, back to me tuning the PA, I do all that as well. I walk the whole room, so I'll do it twice. I'll leave the virtual sound check play and I'll go up there and just so I can really get a feel for what's going on. And I never had that opportunity before. So to be able to do up there and go up there and, and hear it, you know, and you're thinking, wow, you know what, we're, we're doing well because it's right in your face exactly how I want it, miles away. So that's that's really, really cool. And then for the console setup, I mean, you're basically, you're hitting a button and then your patch goes to virtual sound check and you can monitor what you multi-track before. Yeah, it's great. One button, on. <laughs> and that's it. The only thing I did notice is you have to disassign. If I want to mess with my reverbs, I have to disassign those. But apart from that, it's Right, because you've you don't want to be playing back the recording of the reverb from the day before. Correct. You want to be hearing the reverb now. So if you want to tweak yes. it or whatever, you can do that. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. That makes total sense. That's great. Yeah. It's super, super, super easy to use. And, uh, you know, it's a great, great, great tool to use to work on things and, and kind of just see what the room's like.